Good morning, everybody. Headed to Arlington, 7.45 in the morning, Friday morning. Got a big eviction clean out. Gonna be tackling this with a couple of other companies that work throughout the DFW Metroplex. Uh, I don't even know who. I know Junk Guy's DFW, it's his job. Uh, I'm sure DTX is gonna be there. I'm sure MJD, Junk Guy's Arlington, Transport and Hauling. Oh, light turned red going to be there. I did look at the house on the map and it's a two-story house. There's supposed to be a lot of stuff in there so we got to get it all outside. Sorry I'm paying attention to the road not looking at the camera. Uh, get it all outside and then wait 24 hours and then go back tomorrow morning grab whatever's left over. I'll see you when we get to the house. All right we are here. Constables. I go and check a pulse. He's got a weak pulse. He's sweating his ass off. Is that Jamon parking weight? Well, I guess there's nowhere else to park. <laughs> I bet, I bet it's full in there. What do you think? Yeah, I think the garage is far close as I can. He's talking about bagging it. He's only, he's only got 10 minutes though. When have we ever bagged it? V Zero? Yeah. You said we were going to bag it. Like, we're not bagging shit. What's up, Jay? We're bagging your crap. Why are you copying me again, bro? Oh, you're copying me again. I don't like that. Oh, man, man. Because we, we have so many different versions, you know? Yeah, we do. We have so many different colors of jackets. Sleeping? Yeah. Sleeping? No. <laughs> hey, Ricardo, you think it's going to be work? We work as teams, we get a partner, a battle buddy, and we just we just find a buddy. Because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit. We work as a, like a unit. You saw it? You saw in there? We're not bagging shit up. We're not bagging it. Just when he says bag it, everybody goes, what? Get the couch, put everything on the couch. They're harbor freight, so they, they're like one mil thick. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey. Be here for a while. I think we may be okay with the furniture. I don't know. Let me ask him because he's our senior deputy. So let me see what how he wants to do it. We haven't even seen upstairs yet. This is the way I do it. Hello. If they're not going to lock the gate, oh, right. it can so. stay. Okay. If she's going to lock the gate, then no, it has to come out. Right. Now, as far as like the TVs and stuff that are hung, do you want them to take that the down? The TV comes down, the, okay. but if they're going to leave it out there and then leave it unlocked, then it can just stay where it is. Okay. And that's up to her. You need to have it. Her. Look how big that bed is.
Explain where you got on the stairs here. <laughs> what happened to that thing? Used and abused? There's a meter room up here. All oh, this is gotta go. Outside on the curb. Oh, an empty room. Wait, wait, I just want to make sure who's in. Yeah, <laughs> Most of the downstairs is done. Gonna finish off the upstairs. stuff up gotta go get my dolly <laughs> whose sunglasses oh, yeah, whose oh I, got I forgot I grabbed them And the dolly. What? Gotta get my dolly. Do you hear me? What? Fucking thief. <laughs> All right. Yeah, those are worth a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We all good in there? As long as you know, they're taking the last bit pictures and then we're done. Okay, awesome. Appreciate your help. No problem. The self preservation. Yep. <laughs> Stay active, stay young. I'm not tired of being here. That's that's number one right there. See you tomorrow. 
All right, see you tomorrow. Hey, nice boots. $49.99. 49. They, they make them in 16? I had a hard time getting these 14. <laughs> yeah, those are hard too. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. The eviction is complete. That was a lot of stuff. A lot of expensive, heavy furniture. I'm wiping my hands down with alcohol wipes. So everything was covered in cat piss. <clears throat> All right, so we first got here. Owner was still here, obviously going through an eviction process. The, I should say renter, owner was here as well. Renter knows they gotta be out 30 days. And he acted like he was surprised. And so in that situation, you can't help but feel bad because we're here with the constables to get all the belongings out because rent has not been paid. So go from feeling bad and then as you're going through the house you see 17 flat screen TVs and there was a whole uh, like man cave room dedicated to the Pittsburgh Steelers, a media room, getting all their clothes out of the closet, his and hers, NFL official Steelers jerseys. I had to have had every player from the last 20 years and every color variation. Over a hundred jerseys, NFL official Michael Kors watches, $500 a pop, I and mean, it just kept going on and on. So you go from feeling bad to, you know, somebody's just not being responsible. And when I see stuff like this, you know, being a business owner, it's kind of changed my mindset a little bit on, or actually a lot, on how you spend your money and how you save your money and try to get free from debt, get out of the, get, get out of uh, that whole issue where you're paying a bunch of money through APR, financing, it's not good, it's not a good thing. So go from feeling bad to why are you living like why are you living way above your means now all your stuff's outside and they got two 26 foot u-haul rental trucks here don't know where they're going to take it and it's just like the guy and another guy and it took seven or eight of us four and a half hours to get all that stuff out so interesting day today I, I gotta get going. It's 1.36 and I have a full trailer. Gotta come back tomorrow with an empty trailer. We're all coming back with empty trailers, whatever's left over. Um, we're gonna be uh, loading up and getting rid of it. So I'm gonna head back home. Probably do another little video. Ricardo's out of here too. Do another little video tomorrow to see what's left. It's Saturday, a little bit afternoon. I know we were supposed to be back at that job at 9 o'clock. The constable actually said that we needed to be back at 1.30 to give the tenant 24 hours to gather all the items. Uh, let's see, Jamon and Ricardo, they both just got there. The tenant's actually, since yesterday, I guess, been loading up U-Hauls, getting all this stuff out. So thankfully, uh, I was told not to bring the trailer because we don't need it. And that would have sucked if we did need it because it is not. So if we did need it, here's the deal. The landfill is gonna be, a, would be a disaster because it poured last night. How wet it is back here. But I've done this before where I have to get to a job. Can't really get to the landfill because I don't want to be stuck in there. And I will 
and I've done it before like 10 times. So let's dump the trailer in the storage spot. I only got in trouble one time from uh, the owner of this storage property. I just told him I'll have it cleaned up by the end of the day. The next day, he was fine with it. So that's what I do when I run into those situations. But uh, let's head to Arlington. Let's go. There's still some stuff left. If he hasn't loaded it up by 1.30, we take over. Oh shoot. Don't crash. Off we go. 58 minutes to Arlington. Without the trailer, thank the Lord. And also thank you for this day. What is that? This dude tried to drift in a camper, RV, motor, what do they call a motorhome? I don't know what the official term is. Oh shoot, that thing is stuck. How does that happen? Why would you turn right there? What? I'm so confused. All right, Arlington, let's go. We're here at the house. Is there anything left? Inside? Did you get some rest? Hey, what's up to YouTube? Hey, what's up, YouTube? You lie it's right lie. now? You lie? This thing came. <laughs> it's a hero five. I need a dolly or something. That's like fucking back in the room. Need a dolly? I got one. Yeah, that shit's that big ass marble. Oh, you can get it. We can get it. Oh, we can get it. Alright. Is that upstairs? Yeah. Hold on. Hey, you got an option. Hey, it's not after. It's back in the room. Oh, there's stuff in the attic? More stuff. Oh, I thought they got that. Do you want this? Yeah. I got this. Woo! Yeah, Rat's been chewing on that. What's up, Rare? What's going on, bro? like we're done. I think we're here for a little over an hour, hour and a half. Got two trailers loaded in the U-Haul. No! Alright, alright. 16 footer. Holds about 2,000 pounds. <laughs> Back of the truck bed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this and I'm gonna throw this. So Herrera hauling with the backup trailer. Yo, 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 yo. Oh yeah, absolutely. Some previous owners. U-Haul, we helped them load it up. Oh man! Hey, thank you, thank you. you like you like Bud Light? Yeah, yeah. No comment. You 
eviction is now complete. Leaving Arlington, going up 360 North. Headed to Louisville, got a fridge. Might as well pick that up on the way back home. So seven companies, one huge eviction. The owner, previous owner of that house, he didn't have a whole lot of help. So it's basically him, some other guy, and his wife off and on. Loading the U-Haul up. I don't know where he took it, probably storage. But all that stuff on the front yard was gone. Got it all worked through the rain. And then uh, what he wanted to keep, we ended up loading up in his U-Haul for him. And that was a win-win that prevents us from having to put that stuff in the landfill prevents dump fees and helps him to keep more of his stuff so he was extremely grateful for that he should have had that energy uh, 30 day within that 30 day time frame of the day where he knew he was gonna be evicted for not paying for his mortgage it, okay I found out it wasn't a renter it's the bank and we we're hitting some traffic the bank that was his house couldn't imagine losing a house and having all that all the items in there that money was blown on hopefully a lesson was learned but eviction complete man that car sounds horrible eviction complete uh, it's a lot of work a lot of heavy stuff but big job big money Not bad at all. That's a Camaro that sounds like a Civic. I don't know if you can hear that. Like why? It's, come on, why? It's still better. Waste of money. Another, another uh, example. Waste of money. Don't waste your money. Don't. Bet there's uh, bad consequences. Anyways, signing out. Thank you for checking out this video. Talk to you guys later.